and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show, with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. Previously in The Archers, it's all hands to the pump at Bridge Farm, while George finds himself on the spot. At the Bridge Farm open day Pat is eager to impress Adil, He's a potential valued customer. At the last minute she's called away and has to postpone giving Adil a tour. George steps in. He wants to impress Adil with the film he's made of Tom. But the QR code won't work. Having memorized Tom's words, George rises to Adil's challenge of giving the talk himself. After George has talked to a small crowd about Bridge Farm Produce, Adil congratulates him. George asks Adil about his job role. Adil warns a skeptical George that while ambition can get you some way, it's hard work that matters most. A steady stream of interested visitors have been asking lots of questions through the new dairy window. Susan finds a private moment to ask Adam about his search for Patty Redmond. Adam says Brian has been very good about him seeking out Patty. Just as another family arrives at the window, something goes wrong with the cheese making machinery. Susan takes a look while Adam entertains the visitors with information about yogurt and ice cream making. Helen is grateful to Susan for fixing the machine. Later Helen, Pat, Susan, and George reflect on the busy day. It's been hard work but it's been a success. Helen mentions giving Susan proper recognition for saving the day. George becomes the focus of attention for overcoming the failed film. Pat's confident that their new attractions and a decent spring is going to put Bridge Farm on the map. Thank you so much for listening to this Archers episode. You're listening to Tuesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. Good afternoon, Liz. Hey, Susan. It's a lovely day again. Oh, gorgeous. It's not often we get a sunny spell for the school holidays. <laughs> Is this everything? Can't interest you in any of our Easter specials to take home for the boys? Simnel cake? Hot cross buns? Uh, no, thanks. Just the washing powder and the beans for now. <sighs> Have you heard from Helen? How did today go at the dairy? Well, sounds like it was less busy than yesterday, but still quite a few visitors throughout the day. I have to say, it's nice to have a break from being watched through a window. <laughs> yesterday was very demanding. <laughs> Helen said you were brilliant. Fix the cheese machine like a pro. Oh, thank goodness <laughs> I could. Though it was our Georgie was the real star of the day. Giving impromptu talks about bridge fresh to important customers. Oh, what's that film he made of Tom after everyone had gone? That looked great. Oh, he's a very capable lad, that one. When he puts his mind to it. <sighs> he sorted the QR code out so that people can watch it all week. Ah. Pat was even talking about commissioning him to make more. <laughs> and he's only 17. <laughs> well, for a few more days... Then we'll have our first grown-up grandchild. You don't look old enough, Susan. Oh, <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> uh, right, that's say at six pounds and eight pence, please. Cash or card? Oh, card. There you are. <clears throat> Anything planned for this evening? Well, I've got to pop up to Bridge Farm after I finish here. George left behind a bag of his stuff. <laughs> you? I'm heading up there too. Helen just sent me a mysterious text. Oh, yes. Apparently they've got a surprise waiting for me. Oh, well, have a lovely evening, Lee. And I hope it's a nice surprise. 
A treasure hunt? And no ordinary <laughs> treasure hunt. The boys have put their heart and soul into oh. it. Mum says they were sitting at the kitchen table writing out the clues most of the morning. Oh, their school holidays. That's so sweet of them. Yeah, and then they went out on their bikes, hiding clues all over the farm. <laughs> They've just gone to put the treasure in place. Something they ordered especially for you. Wow, you've all really gone to town. What have I done to deserve this? Well, the boys wanted to cheer you up because they know you miss your girls. And Jack decided hiding your little gift would be much more fun than just giving it to you. Oh, are you allowed to join in or do you already know the answers? Well, Jack says I can help as long as I don't tell you what the treasure is. All right, sleeves rolled up. Where do we find clue number one? I have it here. And it's in rhyme. Oh, even better. Hi, this is Alice. Sorry I'm not available to speak right now, but just leave your message. Oh. Dad, are you all right? I am, yeah. Are you? You didn't answer. I'm at work. I rang three times. I know, but I was busy. Is everything okay? I was ringing to find out how you are. Both Adam and Kate said you hadn't returned their calls. Dad, I'm fine. I'm just... I'm full on. Look, I need to get back to it. You're too busy to pop into Blossom Hill Cottage on your way home? Probably. I know Chris has Martha tonight. Neil told me. Just because I don't have Martha doesn't mean I'm free and easy. have to catch up on admin, housework, get some meals in the freezer for the rest of the week. All right, well, look, just come round for half an hour. Be good to see you, Alice. You, look, you left in such a hurry on Sunday. I didn't. What time can I expect you? I'll have some coffee ready. I don't know, Dad. I'll see what time I get finished here. I found it! Oh! Oh, makes perfect sense now. Don't retreat, you're not beat, don't be burned, leave no stone unturned. Under a stone in the veg field. Oh, it's taken us nearly half an hour to do one clue. <sighs> well, we got there in the end. <laughs> Even the boys got bored and had no qualms about cycling off and abandoning us to their weird and impenetrable rhyme. But if all the clues are like this, we'll still be here in a week's time. I won't have any defeatists on my team. Onwards. Aye, aye, Captain. So, read out the next clue. There was an old farmer called Tom who had his wellies on. He's not that young, but he's not that old, and this is not even the way. Does that even rhyme? <laughs> I'm not sure Tom would describe himself as an old farmer. I don't even understand the clue. Um... Hidden in his wellies? In the barn? I've literally no idea. Hang on a minute. But if I were to tell you that I know roughly where one of the final clues is hidden, how would you feel about skipping ahead? You mean cheating? I mean using all of our cunning to get to the treasure. <laughs> Surely the boys would expect nothing less of us. I don't know. All their hard work. This rate, I'm not joking, we'll be here until well after dark. No supper. Jack, tired and cranky. Me, tired and cranky. OK, OK. You've worn me down. Cheating it is. Come on in. The kettle's on. Do you, you want coffee? Uh, no thanks. I can't stay. I'm having one. It's no trouble. How was work? Uh, yeah, good. Busy, but fine. So it's a nice distraction. From what? Well, from whatever's going on. Whatever fresh hell has thrown our way. Oh, Alice. I'm joking, obviously. You look tired. I'm all right, Dad. It's just that... Yeah? Look, ha have you spoken to Kate and Adam? What about? I told you, they tried to call you. Have you spoken to them about Sunday? About the will? No, not really. Not really? Or no? No. How could Mum do something like that? What? Um, leave money to Martha? Only to Martha. Did you really not know about it? No. No, honestly, I didn't. But, but I, don't, I really wouldn't overthink it, Alice. It was, it was a lovely gesture your mother has made for her youngest grandchild. Well, and is that OK with Kate and Adam? Does that seem like something Mum would do, to single out one of the grandchildren like that? Well, not usually, no. Exactly. It's weird, and that's why it's going round and round in my head. Alice. And you telling me not to overthink it won't stop me thinking the worst. What's the worst? That it's not a thoughtful gift for Martha's future. It's insurance. Against me being an absent mother. Wow, the last clue. This makes cryptic crosswords seem like child's play. Right, well, we're in the right area. We just need Henry and Jack back to play hot and cold. All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. 
This is the final clue before you get your booty. Oh, that's a real Jack Henry hybrid clue. Jack's obsessed with pirate's booty and Henry was doing homophones last week, so booty could be boots. Um, oh, hang on, there's more. Ice cream, yoghurt, milk and cheese, stay outside, you're dirty, please. Stay outside? We are outside. Are we reading too much into this? You know, missing something obvious. Oh, uh, Susan, did you find George's bag? Oh, I did, thank you. How are you getting on? Any sign of that treasure yet? We're on the final clue. Oh, congratulations. Oh, we might be a bit soon for that. We're completely stumped. <laughs> oh, well, can I have a look? Be my guest. Hmm, booty. Could be a prize or boots. Or even, well, George uses it as slang for someone's bottom. <laughs> he knows all the gangster slang. Oh, I'm sure Henry and Jack aren't using gangster slang in a family treasure hunt. No, well, <laughs> uh, so that leaves prize or boots. But what's that got to do with ice cream and why are we dirty? Mm, booty. Stay outside your dirty place. Oh, I've got it. You haven't? I have. Oh, please give us a hint. Take pity on us. Well, what do you do if you've got dirty boots and want to go inside? Uh, take them off. Or clean them. Yes. Oh, the, the boot scraper. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there it is. Oh, well done, Susan. Oh, your booty. <laughs> Can I open it now or shall I wait for the boys? Oh, no, they got bored ages ago. I- I'll make sure I get a photo of that. Oh, wow, it's a guidebook to San Francisco. This is brilliant. Oh, I know we haven't set dates for a visit yet, but we wanted you to start getting excited. Oh, thank you. Oh, I don't know why, but I'd got it into my head. It would be an engagement ring. Oh, right. Oh, oh, silly me. I hope that's not what you had in your head, Lee. Nope, can't say I did. <laughs> Certainly not from Henry and Jack. I was thinking maybe a bar of chocolate <laughs> or one of Jack's painted stones. Oh, Oh, uh, the book's lovely. Very thoughtful. I'm sure you'll find some wonderful things to do with your girls in San Francisco. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> I'd better be getting off. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Helen. Mm. Uh, and maybe we can talk about that recognition you mentioned yesterday. Uh, what's that? A pay rise. Recognition for the fact our job has completely changed. We're constantly on view... Having to talk in front of visitors and solve crises in public. I think it's only fair that Clary and I have a pay review. OK, I was meaning something more along the lines of recognition online, a blog post about what a wonderful job the two of you are doing in the dairy. But, but I can hear what you're saying. Let's pencil in a meeting at the end of the week. Remind me tomorrow. Oh, I will. <laughs> Enjoy your evening. Oh, you too. And if you spot the boys, will you tell them it's time to come back to the house? Henry isn't answering his phone. Yeah, yeah, will do. <laughs> Engagement ring? <laughs> she thought you'd let Henry and Jack loose with a diamond ring on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> I think this book is the perfect treasure. Oh, look inside. For when you fly across the sea to visit Mabel and Evie. So they might not be in line for the Poet Laureate any time soon, oh, but... It's perfect. Come here. <laughs> S- sit down, Alice. Come on. No, no, I can't. Nothing you've said makes any difference. And that's not your fault. That There is no way of making it better. <laughs> but you're only seeing things through a very narrow view, Alice. But I can see the whole picture... Your mother loved you and was full of admiration for what you've achieved. We often talked about how strong you are. But she obviously didn't believe I was strong enough. She didn't really trust me, not as a mother to Martha. Jenny always understood the illness better than me. I mean, she helped me really see that alcoholism isn't something to be cured or conquered. It takes a lifetime of hard work to keep it under control. But I am sober. I got sober. She saw me. Yes, yes, she did, and she was so proud of me. And Lisa said when when I was struggling so much after Mum died, that was my comfort. Lisa said I'd given Mum the gift of a sober daughter. You did? But I didn't, because she didn't believe it. Not deep down where it mattered. Not not when it came to Martha. The money, Alice. Jenny knew she wasn't going to be here to see Martha grow up. And this was a gesture, a small gift of security for her granddaughter. That she left in trust with Chris. 
Dad, can't you see how that looks? There is no other way to understand it. She was afraid for Martha. And she didn't trust me. Oh, Alice. I don't know what to say. I mean, only that your mother had nothing but love for you. And a belief in your recovery that was impossible to shake, even when you didn't believe in it yourself. Oh. Alice, darling, come here. Come on. So what do you do? I, I do the spot effects on the arches. I just uh, I need Are you what we call foley then? Uh, kind of. Yep. First. Okay. And and these are these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep. That's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep. That's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mind, but oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help him, Caroline. I, mean, I think The Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever